At this time, I just want to thank everyone who showed up today, everyone who participated, and just a few individuals have to be mentioned by name. And uh, first off, I'd like to thank our captain, William Regal Jr. <laughs> and our chief engineer, Robert A. Stussel. and every member of the apparatus committee who painstakingly put many hours into the planning and development of this truck. Uh, they, you, if you've never done it before, uh, it's a very, uh, very detailed uh, job to do. And, uh, you know, down to the last, very last detail. And uh, that was spearheaded by our captain and our chief engineer. They put in countless hours and I just wanted to thank them personally and everybody who did serve on the apparatus committee. Without them, we wouldn't have this beautiful new piece of equipment uh, standing behind us. I'd also like to thank our Lieutenant Dave Liable, who, excuse me, uh, who uh, was our Housing Committee Chairperson this year of our new apparatus. And uh, without Dave and uh, Eric Salen and Bill Bachman and many, many people on the committee, uh, everybody that was involved in the committee put lots of time into planning this and I wanted to thank you folks for doing that at this time. Uh, we don't purchase t new trucks too often, uh, approximately every 20 years or so. Uh, so uh, we were thrilled uh, when we finally got delivery of this new piece and uh, it was kind of neat to see the parade today. Uh, and you know being around the fire department for 30 years to be able to see the two uh, former trucks right behind us in the parade was really a nice thing <coughs> excuse me uh, to see our FMC our 1982 FMC and our 93 uh, Spartan our 82 is uh, still active with the Shane Town fire department and uh, our 93 up in Gerardville with Gerard Hose so congratulations and thank you guys for coming down as well At this time, I'd like to uh, take a, a few moments to introduce a few of our dignitaries that are here today and ask, ask them if they would like to, to come up and say a few words uh, and uh, give them the opportunity to give their input on the, the fire department and the, and the new apparatus. Without their help and their dedication uh, through all of our con uh, political connections from the citywide all the way down through the state, these uh, people, uh, we wouldn't be able to do what we do as well. They're there fighting for us uh, in the city and, in, and in down in Harrisburg, and we appreciate everything that you, you folks do for the fire department, and, and uh, especially here at the Goodwill. So at this time, I'd like to start off with uh, introducing our uh, city dignitaries that are here. First, I'd like to introduce uh, Mayor John D.W. Riley, Mayor of the City of Boston. Craig and good afternoon everyone. Uh, I want to thank Craig for the weather that he ordered for today. It's, it's a beautiful day. It's a good fight a nicer October afternoon than we have right here today. Uh, and I want to congratulate the Goodwill for what they have done for the city of Pottsville. There are many, many years of service and the other uh, six party companies here in Pottsville. And I was talking to uh, the Senator earlier about how fortunate Pottsville is and how fortunate Schuylkill County is to have such an active volunteer fire departments in, in, in throughout the whole county. And, uh, you see at the county co fire conventions there's, uh, are bigger than the six county fire conventions, but uh, thank you, tribute to all you men and women that serve as uh, firemen, uh, not just here in Pottsville, but also in Schuylkill County. Thank you, Craig. Also from the city today, we have uh, Councilman Muldowney is with us today, Jim Muldowney. <laughs> Councilman Mike Halkovich. <laughs> and Councilman and Director of Public Safety, Mark Atkinson. <laughs> Did I miss anybody from the city? <coughs> okay, I believe that's everybody. At this time, I'd like to introduce our uh, 
County Commissioner Gary Hess. Short guys need to fix it up here. They, they, they let the short guy go last here. But anyway, uh, first of all, thank you very much for inviting me. And again, I know this is a special day here in the city of Pottsville, and especially for the Goodwill Post Company right here. I basically uh, know what fire service is about. I grew up into it just in a small community right up here in East Mines. And my dad was served as a president for well over 50 years, and my mother, president of the auxiliary. I know what it takes and a lot of people out there to get a piece of apparatus like this and especially to keep it on the road. It takes a lot of volunteers, a lot of time, and a lot of money. And not only that, it is to keep the training going and so forth that we have well qualified people running and operating this apparatus. Throughout the county we have many strong fire companies throughout there which we're very very proud of and especially this one indeed and again on behalf of the Board of Commissioners uh, our chairman Frank Stoudemire George Halkovich and myself we're definitely proud to have and, that, and this truck is beautiful and a testimony that hopefully that uh, it rides safe and the people on it and again to protect our citizens thank you very much At this time, I'd like to introduce our uh, representative from the 130, 123rd Legislative District, Neil Goodman. And from the 125th, Mr. Mike Tobash. Thank you very much. We thought we'd do this as a duo. Uh, I have to apologize, my citation is in the trunk of my wife's car. <laughs> but I did bring a flag, which right. I know that you guys would uh, hang proudly. It's a very special day here for the Goodwill. We all know that bringing a new truck into the company is almost like bringing in a new member of your family. Uh, we know all the hard work, as Gary had expressed, that has gone into this. And we can't thank you for everything that you do. I mean, it takes a very special individual to get up in the middle of the night and go out and put their lives on the line to protect their neighbors, their family, their friends. And we can't say enough about all the work that you put in, we, we know how difficult it is, how much time you spend away from family and friends, we know how much work goes into putting in the application and going through all the mounds of paperwork that Mike and I are trying to cut through to make it a little easier, but we know of your commitment and that's why I was very happy to be one of the prime sponsors and pushers of legislation that brings $25 million every year to volunteer fire companies all around the Commonwealth. Schuylkill County is second only to Allegheny County in the money, amount of money that it receives from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania from the money that comes directly from gaming. And we see it every day throughout our county, the improvements that are being made uh, with regards to the purchase of the equipment, but at the end of the day it comes down to boots on the ground, it comes down to what you people do every day, and uh, we're very appreciative and we congratulate you on this accomplishment. Thank you, Craig. Well, I see there's a great group out here. Usually when I see you, you've got a band behind you, <laughs> but you've got a great department here and a great community in front of you. This is a testament to the hard work that this department and every department here in the city does. You know, I was reading that this, uh, that this department was established in 1882, 32 members, 10 cents apiece. In the Treasury, they had $3.20 when they started, and uh, I'm not sure what part $3.20 this would have paid for on this truck but uh, not too much I'm sure and again that's a testament to the hard work that you all do as a department the support that you have the community as Neil mentioned the support from the state we are so proud to be able to try and direct money uh, to operations just like this one here at Goodwill and uh, we had 25 million and luckily we bumped it up to 30 million in this last term so uh, Neil has given you a flag I've got a citation on behalf of myself uh, and of Representative Goodman, we are so proud of the work that you do, and we thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. Craig, thanks very much. He needs his mug. <laughs> I 
by the way, we, we, we have three dollars and twenty cents in our treasury right now because <laughs> we just bought a truck. In all, and uh, I'm just going to move forward. That was a bad joke. I'm sorry. At this time, I'd like to introduce uh, State Senator Dave Argel. Now, thanks for inviting me to be with all of you on the on this special day. My Kitsock has heard this story a hundred times, but most of you haven't, so I'm going to tell it one more time. In 1968, I was about the size of the girl here with the SpongeBob uh, sweatshirt. <laughs> And working on my bike with my dad, and all of a sudden, all the alarms in Tamaqua started going off. And it's a pretty weird feeling when you're 10 years old, when you look up and you see smoke pouring out of your neighbor's house. And of course, if you know anything about Tamaqua, there's at least a 50% chance that if your neighbor's house is on fire, your house is on fire, because it was right there. And it was only because of the dedication of your brother and sister firemen that day that, that my house was saved. I think I lost a couple of smoke, uh, stuffed animals to smoke inhalation, but other than that, there were no casualties. And so uh, I, I understand how close we came that day and how important your everyday work is. And so whenever I have a chance to say thank you, like today, I do that. Uh, the mayor is absolutely correct. If we had to pay in taxes for what you provide to us, in volunteer service you don't want to know the number just take our word for it it's a really 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 big number and so on behalf of the quarter million people I'm privileged to represent as your state senator from Pine Grove to the Pocono racetrack I have the citation here I'm not going to read it it essentially says a boy keep up the good work We didn't miss anybody, did we? Any, anybody else from the dignitaries? Thank you so much uh, for everybody for coming and, and participating and, and giving us some words of encouragement and for your continued support you know, throughout the process, day after day, year after year, because I know money gets tighter and tighter and budgets are getting tighter and tighter everywhere and anything that you can do for us, we, we definitely appreciate. And I just want to thank you uh, on behalf of the fire company for everything that you've done in the past and everything you'll do for us in the future. At this time, it's my privilege to introduce a man who uh, has spoken to our fire company before at, at banquets and has a vast knowledge of uh, the historical aspects of firefighting, not only just in, in uh, Pottsville or Schuylkill County, but he has a, a, just a great knowledge about fire and the, uh, the history of fire. And uh, Mike Kitsock is going to be our guest speaker today. Mike uh, is the president of the Schuylkill Historical Fire Society. And uh, sit back and enjoy because he's a great speaker and he's going to give you a wealth of knowledge <laughs> from his vast, vast history of, uh, of his uh, firefighting expertise. Mike Kitsuck. Yeah, I didn't mention Mike's getting to be quite historical himself. <laughs> well, so I'll just begin with a quote. Uh, Kurt Vonnegut, uh, the author, once stated, there's no more stirring symbol of man's humanity for fellow man than a fire engine. And apparently long before Kurt Vonnegut penned that quote, the people in this section of Pottsville understood that. Because we're here not only to commemorate this fire engine, beautiful $500,000 investment here with its equipment, in a beautiful historical fire station, folks, but if you did the math, 1882 to 2012, should we not also commemorate 130 years of service to humanity from this fire station? In a department that has been serving the public since 1829, in a county that has had organized firefighting service for over 200 years. I know when Mike Lohr and I did the history of Schuylkill County firefighting, we identified in the back of the book 
135 organizations in Schuylkill County dedicated to firefighting. Some have long gone, many like this organization is still here. Folks, I'll tell you this, in no county in Pennsylvania or the United States has the concept of volunteer firefighting been embraced more than Schuylkill County. And that's something to be very, very proud of. Uh, let us also be thankful that we have commissioners like Frank Stonemeyer, Gary Hess, and George Halkovich who have come through to provide funding so that any volunteer firefighter in Schuylkill County does not have to pay for training. We are blessed that we have them. We are also fortunate that we have senators and legislators who have strongly supported our fire training academy. We have a hundred, we have a 30 acre training facility 15 minutes away that has been supported strongly by the late Jim Rhodes, by Senator Argyle, Neil Goodman, uh, Mike Tolbash on board now, Jerry knows we have good support for both that facility and do any of you get to Shenandoah? You're going to have to get up there soon for your kielbasa and it's getting close to boil season folks. Just letting you know it's in Schuylkill County now. But in Shenandoah we have one of the most beautiful fire museums anywhere in any size in any town in the United States. So we have a lot to be thankful for here in Schuylkill County. One person who could not make it today and let me ask that you please give some added thanks to Congressman Tim Holden will be leaving us soon folks in Tim's 20 years of service over 16 million dollars came to the fire companies of Schuylkill County sadly he will no longer be serving us but we are certainly thankful of what he was able to accomplish for us now one last comment here folks for today. I always like when Schuylkill County fire companies help other fire companies. There's a good Wales engine from 1982 still serving East Norwegian Township, Shane Town. And I was so happy the engine that was just sold went to a fellow company of mine uh, in Gerardville, Gerard Hose Company, where it will continue to provide years of service. It is that mutual cooperation that makes Schuylkill County so great. Let me close with a quote, another quote here, folks. It's going to be from history. Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Let's give our hats off and salute goodwill on not only the fire engine here, folks, but 130 years of service to the area. Thank you, Mike, for your uh, words. There are just a couple more things I have to do before we wrap up today. And uh, the first thing is that I do have a letter here from the city fire chief. Uh, unfortunately, he wasn't able to make it. To the officers and members of Google Fire Company number four, I am sorry I cannot attend the housing of your new engine 41 since I am out of town on vacation until Tuesday. On behalf of the City of Pottsville and the other seven city fire companies, I want to welcome the new Engine 41 to our department. It is a beautiful piece of apparatus and it will be an asset to our community. I wish you the best of luck with it and hope your housing is a great success and hope everyone in attendance has a great time. Yours truly, Todd March, Fire Chief. Uh, one last thing, and probably one of the most important things is, um, over the years we had a member of this fire company by the name of W. Robert Moser, and Mr. Moser served this company for 79 years. He passed away this past year, and it wouldn't be here without him. So at this time I wanted to tell all the members so I'm sorry. <laughs> this truck is dedicated to Mr. Moser and there is a plaque on the inside of the officer's door that states W. Robert Moser, 79 year member, 79 years of membership to this fire company. 
I'm, I'm going to be happy if I live 79 years. He was a member of this fire company for 79 years. And uh, he lived uh, 100 years, 1911 to 2011. So thank you, Mr. Moser, and have one on us today. Thank you, folks. Uh, we're going to end with uh, just simply to let you know that the trophies are going to be around 5 o'clock. We're going to do the trophy presentation. Uh, and the refreshment area is going to be open as, at the conclusion of my speaking. Thank you all again, and uh, have a good time. Our festivities with the blessing of the truck by Monsignor William Glosser, the Pottsville Fire Department chaplain. Monsignor. Heavenly Father, look us when we gather in your name and bless Engine 41 and bless those who use it to help the members of our community in time of need. Protect us all in your love and help us to work together for the benefit of all. Father, we ask this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, we are going to have life member Francis Zook Trey. Chris in the truck with a bottle of champagne on the tow hook. Okay, at this time, uh, we're going to. We're going to push it into the uh, engine room, so if we can get all the members of the fire company that are here and able, please come up and get, get on the uh, vehicle in some spot and help push the engine in. <laughs>